this video provides advice for students that are intending to install and use the electronic economic mind maps that I have created. First of all, I would suggest that students uh, go to Google and type in Maurice Starkey and economics into Google search engine. One of the links should be the Economics Network Interactive Mind Maps in Economics. If you click on that link, you should get to this page uh, on the Economics Network. If you then scroll down the page, of importance here is the zip file initially of the mind maps. So what you want to do is left click the mind maps. So now the mind maps have been downloaded. I highlight the file and then this time I right click the file and extract all. And I will extract into the same folder. The data is now extracted into the folder, as you can see here. So the next thing that I do, once the mind maps have been downloaded, is I go to install the MindJet Mind Manager software. So again, I go to the web page that we were on previously on the Economics Network, and I click MindJet Mind Manager software, and it brings up the MindJet Mind Manager web page. I then choose the Mind Manager software for whichever operating system you have, whether it be the Microsoft Windows operating system or the Apple operating system. You then click uh, the appropriate link and download it onto your computer. Uh, and then once you've downloaded it, you can install it. I would recommend that you ensure that you're in the computer's administrator mode before you install the software onto your computer. Once the software is installed on your computer, if you go to the add folder shortcut and then you click on the location where the content is stored. And then that adds uh, the economic environment folder shortcut to go together with all the mind maps contained within the folder. In order to get this section on the mind maps, you should click on files, options, and then ensure that enable mind maps task pane is open. So select mind map mind maps task pane. So we then click OK. And also you may need to enable the task pane um, in uh, at the bottom of the uh, screen, bottom right hand corner of the screen as well, in order to see this view. So we've now got the economic environment. Uh, mind maps downloaded. All the mind maps contained in the folder are shown in this uh, section. The mind manager software is also free to download. If your sole purpose for using the software is to view the content created by other people, so that if you are just viewing the content that I've created, then there is no need for you to pay for the mind manager software. You have opened the Files and Options tab in Mind Manager and in the General tab selected Enable Mind Maps Tax Pane. Remember that was this area here, Options, etc. You then went into the bottom right hand corner and enable the Task Pane bar. And then you went to Add Folder Shortcut and then went to the location on your computer where you downloaded the file and unzipped it. Remember, right click the zip file in order to unzip it first before linking to it. Added the folder shortcut. Now the main map is economic environment. 
and this mind map is, is called the master mind map because it contains hyperlinks to all the individual mind maps in the folder and this master mind map is separated into the various topics in economics so all the mind maps individual mind maps contained within the folder are linked to from this master mind map economic environment and you'll notice that the current version in April 2020 is version 1.9 As I mentioned if you click a circle at the side of a topic box that takes you to a more detailed map. If we look at monetary policy, there's individual mind maps uh, discussing banks and money creation, quantity theory of credit, monetary transmission mechanisms, etc. Another useful tool um, is a search tab. So if you go into the search tab on the right hand side of the screen, a useful tool for searching for specific terms within mind maps. So for example, if we wanted to search for monetary transmission mechanisms and we then identify that we want to look, it could be the current map, but in this case we want to look in the folder. Uh, so we click on the economic environment 1.9 folder and then click search. And what you'll find is that the program searches for all occurrences of the monetary transmission mechanisms term within all the mind maps in the economic environment folder. And you can see the search tab uh, populating with examples of the term, term being used. And so once the search has stopped, then you can identify which is the particular occurrence you would like to view. So uh, these are the hyperlinks to the, 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 the terms use within the mind map. So we can see there that there's a specific mind map presenting, discussing monetary transmission mechanisms. So that's the most appropriate source to go to. To find out more about monetary transmission mechanisms so we can click on that link and that will take us to an explanation a mind map explaining monetary transmission mechanisms also in the uh, economics mind maps folder um, in some of the mind maps you will find spreadsheets and so we can click on this and it shows various spreadsheets. For example, if we're calculating point elasticity demand, uh, we can find that information where there's a, a green downward arrow at the side. If we click on that, then that opens up the relevant spreadsheet. We know there's a spreadsheet associated with it because there's this spreadsheet icon at the side of the topic box. So this presentation has introduced you to some of the functionality that exists within the Mind Manager program and has provided some guidance on both installing and navigating the electronic economics mind maps that I've created and which are located on the economics network.